It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the boys and the Broncos on EA Sports. And off we go from Denver. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the former Cal Bear, Aaron Rodgers. I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential, but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks. He can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. Rodgers now on first down. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man. maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. On second down, Davis able to slither by, and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Rodgers now to throw. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Not me to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. All right, Brad, I know where they're only going here, but those kind of runs... They're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. On play action. Now Rodgers. And Thomas has it. Breaks through the contact. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. It's a big play there for the Broncos. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. Terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Davis. Davis fighting, he loses the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. So here come the Cowboys onto the field with an excellent position to get things started. And they will be let out by their 6'4 quarterback. And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. All the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. 
Very fortunate to get another shot. Here's second and goal. Handoff running left is Davis. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Got a man, it's Johnson, in zone for a Denver touchdown. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Broncos on just two plays have taken the lead. That's why you got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Too deep. Here comes a return. And he returns this to the 22. That's it, man. Go, go. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. his man complete it's Harper and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight second and two nothing fancy on first down but a very consistent type of a play hit that slant a lot of people call it an extension of the running game and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that he often can go for big yardage sets him up nicely for second down staying ahead of schedule Too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now it's Dorsett. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. They'll try the left side with Dorsett. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. On the 
give. This is Dorsett. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought Let's down go. at the 44-yard line. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Moon to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Harper. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 45-yard line. Moon. He finds his man complete. That's Harper. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Dorsett. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now move. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 19. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Pearson. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get up field with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Still nine remaining on second down. To throw, Moon. And his throw is incomplete. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over in your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. Oh Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. Touchdown, Cowboys! An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. An excellent, long, sustained offensive drive. And now they can look across the field and see a defense that looks a little bit beaten down. Right now, as an offensive coordinator, you're thinking to yourself, can I dial up the knockout punch? Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Denver's offense now set to go. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Rodgers. Over the middle, Sharks got it complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Second quarter action with 159 remaining. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Rodgers. Throw left side complete to Sharp. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys side of the field. A big play there on the catch and run. Well, for a tight end, he can definitely motor, and he shows off the wheels there after the catch as he's able to shake free. Yeah, and this is what we mean when we talk about flipping the field, having your offense look at going the long way to a short way after he makes a play. His ability to do that, evident. He's able to make the catch there, keep his momentum going, and just continue downfield. And the next-gen stats show us the tale of how much yardage he was able to tack on after the catch. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. That is caught by McCaffrey. Touchdown, Broncos. A seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Broncos have taken the lead. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with a Denver touchdown. unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And the mile high air in full effect as that's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Play fake, now Moon. And his 
first throw is going to be incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again, second and 10 from the 25. Here's Moon. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw got him a little too far. It brings up third down. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. And they hand it off to Dorsett. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return, and the Broncos take over, first down and 10. Now Aaron Rodgers in the offense heading back onto the field, and he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence, does a great deal for your team, gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. He finds Smith out of the backfield. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. Now the Broncos are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now Rodgers. He gets it to Thomas. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To throw, it's Rodgers. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 16 yards there, two straight plays of 16 yards and another first down. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Field goal try forthcoming now for the Broncos. From the left hash, this from 37. And his kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on.
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. As they'll take over with just 13 seconds to go before the break. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, here's Moon. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. A gain of six there on first. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. A final shot before break. Moon. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So we're at halftime here in Denver with the Broncos leading this one. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Cowboys. And not much went right in those first two quarters. You can see the numbers on the ground there. Not a whole lot to write home about so far. Meanwhile, for the Broncos, you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And whatever they've done, it's worked, as they have the lead through two quarters of play. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. the Cowboys who get the football first and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter and they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter and they're still very much in this game although they do trail what's the game plan Charles for the second half it might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more but I'd establish the running game they kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 47 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. On first down, it's Moon. He finds his man complete. That's Harper. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. And this one complete to Witten over the middle. 
Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 44-yard line. Back to throw. Moon. And the Broncos get there and take him down. That would have set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Looking to throw. Moon. He finds his man complete. It's Harper. They sure put the coverage guys in the stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. This offense in desperate need of conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun. Moon. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's Chris Harris with a pick. And the Broncos are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here of the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. That catch good for only a couple. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. Second down, it's Davis. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Throwing now is Rodgers. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Davis. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now here's Davis to run again on second. 
They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. To throw is Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. His Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will finish off this third quarter of play. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Kick this one away, and off it goes. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down Here inside Here the 20. Here we go. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. Fourth quarter, every drive so quick on the figure. They only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Back to throw. Moon. They dump it off, complete to Dorsett. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards, and that'll make it second and short. Looking to throw. Moon. Dorsett making the catch. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jump start with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Now a first down throw. Moon. Dorsett's got it. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Moon to throw. 
Got his man complete over the middle. It's Harper. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. Are you serious? Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not we the penalty you, you want. Not at all, and now Go. your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So the face mask moves him closer, and now first and goal. Now move. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. They'll run. It's Dorsett. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Move. Touchdown! That's caught from four yards out. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run and he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And it's good. The deficit six, 20 to 14. So that drive goes eight plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And Denver getting set to take the field. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit, and you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, and by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. How good has he been throwing the football, though? And despite that incompletion, that's just the third time he's been off target this entire game. And Brandon, I've been on the other side of this equation, trying to defend a guy who's been this hot, and it chips away at your confidence. And when you're not confident when you're trying to defend, it makes you slower to the football, and it leads to more completions for them. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. 
the defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. Into the secondary, past the 40. And he'll finally be taken down just shy of midfield. Let's go. Let's go. Down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Here's Davis. He'll try and run some clock. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. We'll likely put an end to this thing. Again, it's Davis. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Whistles now at a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and ten here. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Take a knee. Second and eleven now. Now a handoff to Davis. Now this will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on.